After using the MetaQuest 3 for two weeks now, I finally feel confident enough to give an honest review about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The Quest 3 is being built up to be the best consumer VR out right now for its freestanding capability, pass-through technology, and high-quality video gameplay footage. Although this device is amazing and I have a ton of great things to say about it, it is not all sunshine and rainbows. The MetaQuest 3 comes with two controllers, the headset, and a dock and charging cable to charge the device. The design of this thing is clean, modern, and honestly looks outstanding. Compared to the MetaQuest 2, the design of this device is 40% slimmer. Alongside the very clean design, this device fits nicely on your face. With the straps, it's pretty easy to secure tightly around your head with the side adjustments on the back and the Velcro adjustment on the top of the headset. You can easily adjust the volume with the volume buttons on the bottom side of the headset as well as the lens position using the lens dial located on the bottom of the headset. Overall, I think the design of this device is phenomenal. The controllers fit into your hand well, it fits snug on your head, and it looks pretty good. The tech is high quality, but the material used seems a bit more delicate than I would like it to be. I certainly wouldn't want to drop this device, and as you can see in these clips here, it just feels slightly less sturdy than its previous model. One major note regarding the design, however, is the cushion surrounding your eyes is made out of a mesh material. This material makes it a bit warm around the eyes, creating a lot of sweat, and this sweat will collect in this material over time. This will make it kind of difficult to keep the device clean. I'm assuming they're aware of this considering they made silicone replacements for this part that are roughly $40. The plastic used on this part also doesn't necessarily need to be that strong, but you can tell it's significantly more flimsy and delicate than the rest of the device. They added an adjustment inside of the cushion that allows you to adjust the distance of the lenses from your eyes, which I thought was really a clever design touch. However, when going to replace this part, you'll kind of have to fight against this mechanism to get that, that part fully off of the device, which... I don't really think is it good or a bad thing. It's just kind of something I felt I needed to include. Overall, the design of this device is pretty amazing and I really like the way it looks. But now that we got some of the main features out of the way, I wanna go ahead and highlight this right now. The battery life on this device kinda sucks. And as you can tell, I'm not the only person having this issue. There's discussions about this all over Reddit. After an hour or so in the headset, I lose roughly 60% of my battery life, meaning you can game on this device for roughly two hours at a time before the battery life is fully depleted. Although this is definitely a downside to the device, the charging doesn't really take that long. You can go from zero to 100% in about an hour and a half to two hours of charging. But I can definitely see the battery life being an issue for avid VR gamers, and it might require you to purchase the Elite Strap with battery pack, which would add an additional $130 to the cost of the VR, but it will add more comfort and two hours worth of additional gaming to the device. With that being said, I've had a ton of fun using the pass-through technology. Going into the MetaQuest 3, I had unrealistic expectations for the pass-through display, and it really doesn't look like a high quality. It actually looks like this because the display is still somewhat blurry. Although it's blurry, you can easily make your way around your home and use the device while looking at your phone or on your computer or whatever. So it's definitely an upgrade from the Quest 2. However, don't have a high expectation for how the pass-through looks because it's not as high quality as I expected it to be. However, using pass-through has been a ton of fun. As you can see here, I've just been doing crazy stuff with it, laying in my bath, doing my morning routine with the headset on. Something to note about the pass-through is the hand tracking is slightly finicky. Sometimes it works really well, while other times it will let go of the virtual item you are holding onto, and you have to stop in your tracks to go grab it. So it's not completely flawless tech, but I really do enjoy it, and I think it's really cool. With all that being said, the VR tech on this device is incredible. It's insanely immersive, and it really puts you in a virtual reality with high-quality gameplay footage, an amazing responsiveness from controller movement and so on. Gaming on the MetaQuest 3 is without a doubt in a different league compared to other VRs. The quality
quality of the gaming and the quality of the VR makes up for all of the downsides mentioned above. While recording footage for this video, there were several times I got sucked into the gameplay and totally forgot that I was working, which is a very good sign and really alludes to how immersive this technology is. With that being said, I do believe this headset is worth the buy. If you're looking for a Christmas gift or something to get yourself for the holidays, this headset is phenomenal. It's really fun to play on and there are great games to play as well. But for some of us, the additional purchases may make it more expensive than the base cost of the VR. You could get the 128 gigabyte version of this VR for $499 using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed this video you certainly will enjoy this one as well.